What is going on, good people of YouTube? It is me, Chavez, back with another prize picks video for you. Today is Sunday, February 12th, 2023. Two games on the NBA schedule. One looks to be a very, very good, good game. Some may even tab this as a preview of the NBA Finals. That remains to be seen. The other game, not so much. So we have Boston hosting the Memphis Grizzlies. Tip-off is at 1.10 p.m. That's Central Time, so 2 p.m. Eastern. And then we have the Toronto Raptors hosting the Detroit Pistons, and that tips off at 3. And so at some point, both of these games will be going on at the same time, ending right before Super Bowl uh, kickoff. And so you'll have kind of like a full, full slate of NBA and NFL on your uh, Sunday afternoon. So with that being said, with two games in the NBA, it's it's a little harder to, to, to find value because the lines are a little tighter. Price Picks does a really good job on these and almost kind of forces you into some of these plays because all the good ones are off the board. <laughs> At least I feel like most of the good ones are off the board. Some of the good ones are off the board. Some of the good ones are off the board. So I have a few, I have a few props that stood out to me that I will be playing. In some, you know, uh, in, a, in a few different slips. I'm going very light today. There's not a big reason to go heavy on a two game slate. So let's start in Boston, where the Celtics, like I said, are hosting the Memphis Grizzlies. Also, keep in mind that Prize Picks is running a pretty awesome promotion. We have this beat the big game rush, big payouts for the big game, win 30x your money. And basically, Prize Picks is going to 30x your money on entries that go six for six. So if you put this in a six pick flex and you only hit five, you're not getting 30x on that. You have to go perfect six for six in order for this to be paid out. Otherwise, you just get paid your normal funds on that slip. But I think that's a pretty cool promo for Super Bowl Sunday. And I'll be taking advantage of that with a few different six picks, six pick flexes today. So. Let's start. John Morant. I like Ja over his fantasy points. Going back to their previous game. Now I know this isn't like the only stat that you should be looking at. But John Morant had a monster PRA versus the Boston Celtics in his last meeting with them. And this was back in uh, November. Beginning of November. So he had a monster game. And PRA is not fantasy. But you got to factor in those steals and blocks. And he had three steals and blocks in this game. And he also kept the turnovers. Four is not very good, but honestly, when you're handling the ball that much, it could be worse. It could be five or six. But on an individual note, John Morant put up 30 points versus this, this Boston team. Eight rebounds and nine assists. Unbelievable. You saw how many steals and blocks he had. So just a monster fantasy day. Now, this game was played... And I believe that the the Memphis Grizzlies were put, um, not full health in this game because Steven Adams wasn't available for this game. But you had Bain, Morant, Dylan Brooks. He had all their scores. Brandon Clark. Um, so, yeah, no Jaron Jackson and no Steven Adams in this game. And on the Boston side, which is more telling, Boston was at full strength. I mean, you had Tatum, Brown, and Smart. Those are your big three. Horford was in there. Grant Williams was in there. Brogdon White coming off the bench. No Rob Williams. So I like the way this looks for John Morant. Now, John Morant kind of starts off slow. At least his game log shows you that he starts off a little slow in the first half. So I was a little tempted to take his um I was a little tempted to take the under on his PRA. Three out of his last ten games, he's gone under his line. But then you can see in the second half, he kind of steps it up. And so I might be playing some second half props as well. Since the game, since the slate is so small, finding ways where I can stretch my money out a little bit more. So I'm interested in his first half PRA and the second half PRA here. John Morant, I like that. Also like his rebounds and assists today. Because you saw in his last game versus Boston, he just had 17 total uh, rebounds and assists. But just over his 10-game log... Uh, John Moran is average eight and eight. Oh, it's the second half. Hold on. Let's get back here. John Moran is average anywhere between 16 to 18 assists and rebounds. Memphis is getting healthier, so John Moran is able to do a little bit more. 
frees him up to do a little bit more. So I do like that for John Morant. I like the under on Jason Tatum's fantasy score. I, I look, I, and I'm not a huge fan of Dylan Brooks, but I do think he's a capable defender. I think he's a pretty good defender. Uh, I don't want to sell him short. If there's one thing that he can do well is get under your skin and just do enough to throw you off. And I'm not saying that Jason Tatum goes out and has a poor game at home, but I think that this the Memphis defense can do just enough to keep Tatum in check for the most part. I think he gets his points, but man, 54 fantasy points is a lot. And I understand that Jason Tatum can do it, but I just don't like it. I don't like the outlook in this game for Tatum's fantasy points. So I'm going to go under on that. Love Derek White's fantasy score. You can also go Derek White points and assist, which is at 22, which I think is a very, very good line for Derek White. I'm going to check out StatMuse over here and pull up Derek White points and assist. Now, his last game against Memphis, this was back in November. But this was not the same Derek White. This was not the same Boston Celtics team. Derek White only played 18 minutes in that game. And he only put up... Where are you, Derek White? Am I looking at his first? No, that's full game. Minutes. Fouls. That is it. That's all they're showing for Derek White. I wanted to see how many uh, shot attempts he took in that game. Let me go to points. That might help if I went to actually look at his points. So he only put up five shots versus this Memphis team. That's probably not going to happen this game. He only put up three. Oh, he only put up two three-point attempts. So yeah, points and assists for Derek White to me looks good. I think he'll do more facilitating this game, obviously, with no smart. So that is another Celtic that I like. And then I said I had one. Did I say I had one from the Toronto and Detroit game? If I didn't, well, I do. It's a first half prop. I don't know what to expect from this game. Don't get cute on this two game slate. Just don't do it. I like Pascal Siakam over his first half, um, his first half PR. Is it first half PRA or fantasy? First half PRA. I like this over 18 and a half. Here's my theory on this. I think this game gets ugly. I don't see another overtime thriller like the San Antonio, Detroit, you know, how that ended, you know, between those two teams. I think Toronto comes out and handles business today. I think they get a lot of the work done in the first half. And I think Pascal Siakam makes this five out of his last six games where he's gone over 18 and a half PRA. And then I don't know what's going to happen in the second half. So I'm just focused on the first half on this one. I don't want to get super cute on this and pick too many players from this game. I'm going to focus on the Celtics and the Memphis Grizzlies. If you're interested in seeing what I'm running in terms of slips, I am running a Brogdon over points and a Desmond Bain over assist in one two man uh, power, and then a Derek White over points and assist and a Santi Aldama over 10 and a half points. Um, and then I'm running this six man flex if you're interested in this. Morant over rebounds assist, Jason Tatum under fantasy score, Desmond Bain over three and a half assists, Derek White over 33 fantasy, Pascal Siakam over 18 and a half. Uh, first half PRA and then Rob Williams over nine and a half points. That's what I'm running. Super light day for me. Not gonna do a whole lot, but I said, like I said, uh, I might be looking at that se those second half props once those get dropped on the Prize Picks board. So, ladies and gentlemen, that is gonna do it for today's very very short video on a very very small slate. Wish you the best of luck. Hope your Super Bowl Sunday is uh, is going swimmingly well and. Uh, yeah, enjoy yourself. Appreciate you dropping by the channel, checking this video out. Drop me a comment below letting me know who your favorite prop on the board is today. Also, let me know what you think about these uh, these plays that I'm rolling with in my two and uh, six pick flexes over on prize picks. Thank you once again for all the support. We're, few, we're a few subs away from 1,500. That's so exciting. I appreciate all the support and uh, every comment, every view, every like means a ton to me. And... Um, Thank you so much again. Until tomorrow's early look and research video, Chavez is out.